हेलो बच्चा वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल दी एफ इन फिजिक्स वे दी एफ इन फिजिक्स टैंस फॉर फन नाउ दिस वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग रिफ्लेक्शन वेव डायग्राम सो यू आर गोइंग टू हैव रिफ्लेक्शन डायग्राम्स फॉर वाटर वेव्स फॉर लाइट वेव्स और फॉर साउंड वेव्स यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इर रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ वेव विच इज इंसिडेंट द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन रिमीन्स द सेम विच मीन्स योर एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस will always be equal to angle of reflection but the question is where is the angle of incidence so for that you need to know a few terms so this is what they will give you in the question these lines that you see the ones that are uh parallel to each other these are my wave fronts they represent all the crests or all the troughs of a wave therefore the distance between them represents the wavelength you will see that each and every wave front is at the same distance from the next which is around 1 cm i have measured it okay the other line that you see which is perpendicular to all the wave fronts there will be one more line which is perpendicular to all the wave fronts this is this will be marked as rather direction of wave travel or it is also known as wave normal so why is it called as wave normal because it is perpendicular to the wave fronts that is why it's known as wave normal normal means a line which is perpendicular so this line is perpendicular to the waves and hence it is known as wave normal now once the terms are done we'll move on with the diagram so first thing is to check the angle of incidence for that you need to treat your wave normal also known as direction of the wave as the incident ray which means you will extend this until it hits the or meets the interface this is your first step so this is your point of incidence at this point of incidence you will have to draw a normal okay so i keep my rule that's almost perpendicular and i draw a normal i'll recommend you all to use a protractor now that i have the incident ray i have the normal i can measure the angle of incidence which is the angle between the incident ray and the normal okay now whenever you are measuring the angle of incidence your protractor needs to be on the normal so as per this my angle of incidence is 10 20 30 40 around 45 which means my reflected ray should also be at the angle of 45 okay now there are two ways to draw either you follow the conventional method mark 45 which is somewhere over here or what you can do is keep your protractor on the interface okay so once i've kept the protractor on the interface you will see that your incident ray on the protractor is at obviously 45 somewhere over here you go to the other side you mark the same over here so i know this is 40 this is 50 so in between i will have 45 degree you can follow either of the methods i prefer this because this becomes very easy i don't need to shift my protractor from the left side to the right side i just keep it on the interface look at the number corresponding to my incident ray 45 i go on the other side the smaller divisions i look at where 45 is and i mark once you're done with this you are going to join and draw the reflected ray so this is my reflected wave which is the direction of wave or the wave normal once i have drawn the wave normal now the only thing left is to draw the wave fronts so to draw the wave fronts what i will do is first i need to know where my first wave front is okay this is not necessary but this is a better practice so i measure the distance of the first wave front from the interface which comes out to be around 1.7 and i mark 1.7 on the other side so this is the point where my first wave front is going to be also remember if you can recollect my wave fronts 
are perpendicular to the wave normal which means if i adjust my rule properly so that it is perpendicular to the line this is going to be my first wave front once you have drawn the first wave front to draw the second wave front you need to measure the wave length now it is all going to be the same and i have told you it is already 1 cm you can keep your rule and you can measure the wave length okay so from here i will keep marking 1 cm so 1 1 and you will have to draw the new positions of the reflected wave fronts one this is my third one these are the things you need to keep in mind angle i angle r these are my reflected wave fronts you will see that they are perpendicular to the wave normal now important thing because it is reflection reflection happens in the same medium so because it is reflection and it is happening in the same medium the speed of the wave remains same if your speed is same you know the wave equation v is equal to f lambda if your speed is same your wavelength also remains the same or it is unchanged and your frequency which is number of waves will always remain the same it will never change so these are the things that you need to keep in mind when you are drawing the reflection diagram 